following a noteworthy de-heightening exertion handled by Russia, Iran, and Turkey, America's ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley said that the US won't be fulfilled as long as Syrian President Bashar Assad stays in control. The three nations concurred Friday on the fourth, last, deceleration zone in Syria, which is intended to guarantee a truce between Syrian government powers and renegades for a time of a half year with a specific end goal to make ready for a political determination to the six year war. The de heightening exertion did exclude American interest. RT reports. The arrangement, which is likewise gone for isolating fear based oppressor gatherings, including Islamic State psychological militants, is, in the past ISIS slash ISIL or Daesh, and Jabhat al Nusra, al Nusra Front, from supposed direct resistance, was concurred with the endorsement of the Syrian government, and individuals from Syrian restriction who took an interest in the discussions. This came ten days after the Syrian armed force with Russia's assistance freed one of Islamic State's last fortresses in Syria, the city of Deir Ezzer, which had been under the fear-based oppressor's attack for a long time. The lifting of the attack at last enabled compassionate guide to achieve the city. We're not going to be fulfilled until the point that we see a solid and stable Syria. What's more, that is not with a sad setup. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley said at a White House preparation on Friday, when asked whether the U.S. was abandoned in global endeavors to determine Syrian emergency. American authorities have said their fundamental objective in Syria is to battle ISIS, as Washington backs the operations of Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, which incorporates Kurdish warriors and in addition Arab volunteer army gatherings. The SDF progressed towards Deir Rezzer from the eastern side of the Euphrates waterway this week, with an end goal to pick up control of the city's eastern edges previously the legislature does. While Deir Rezzer city was not a SDF focus on, the U.S.-sponsored state armies did not decide out the likelihood that it might end up playing the one, saying individuals in the city needed to be freed from the administration and dash in the meantime, AP referred to Abu Kala pioneer of the gathering progressing towards the recently freed city. On Thursday, the U.S. drove coalition said the SDF was not wanting to enter Deir Rezzer city. Abu Kala disclosed to AP that the volunteer army won't let Syrian government powers and their partners cross the Euphrates waterway to pick up control of its eastern side. Russian outside service representative Maria Zakharova said Friday the Syrian armed force had officially crossed. After a noteworthy triumph close to Rouser, the Syrian government armed force keeps on clearing Islamic State fearmongers from the eastern districts of the nation, as indicated by Zakharova. Suburbia of this common focus have been freed. Propel units have effectively crossed the Euphrates and are holding positions on its eastern bank, she included, without determining the area. On September 12, the Russian military said that the Syrian armed force had recovered control of 85% of the nation's region. 